Howdy. The most common question I get um, as an artist from people is where did I develop my style? And it's pretty much pertaining specifically to all the crazy fantastical characters, the Cyclopses, and kind of paired with that question is where do I get inspired to come up with these things? Well, like how do I invent these characters? And it's a really hard question to answer. And over the past three years, I don't think I've done it. A good job answering that question concisely um, it's a hard question but you know something to fill you in this isn't answering the question but a personal hobby and kind of passion of mine is science fiction and fantasy I love sci-fi and fantasy movies also novels um, I'm currently reading the way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson if you've read any of Brandon Sanderson please comment so I can talk to you about it but I love all those stories I love Greek and Roman mythology they have wacky characters just fantastical epic stories good versus evil things like that. Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite. I've read the Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, the movies are some of my favorite movies as well. And Doke recently uploaded a video painting Frodo with a cool like Star Wars collaboration type thing. And I was like, oh, that's such a great idea. I paint so much every week, random portraits of random people I find off Google just for practice or New Masters Academy, great reference. And it's never anyone recognizable. And I was like, wow, I should probably paint someone recognizable, some cool character, fantasy oriented. And I thought Gandalf was perfect because he is a human, so I could just work on normal human anatomy. You shall not but he's such a recognizable character with his hat, his big wizard beard. I love Gandalf. So we got some great reference of Gandalf the Grey. Yeah, I'm super excited. Before we start painting Gandalf, look at this beautiful picture. I think this is an awesome reference photo. We'll talk about why later. Before we start painting, I wanna do a quick little study with um, my sketchbook. This is toned gray, um, which is great because I could use the beautiful white pencil. We got a standard mechanical HB lead. And um, yeah, so I wanna just kind of figure out the values. You can see in this portrait picture, we got super dark values under the hat, light, rim light on the hat, and then you know, his face is lighter than the dark parts, but it's not super light. So I wanna just figure all that stuff out in a quick little sketch, the value scale, if you're familiar with that, white to black, everything in between. We gotta, we gotta kinda nail those things, you know, to make it lifelike, to get the form. Alrighty then. I was about, let's see what the camera says. What does the camera say? 36 minutes. Boom. I love drawing, I really don't do it enough. You know, this was just a quick 30 minute drawing, like I said, but it was so fun and I just tried to figure some stuff out within the face, the super dark values in the hat, but also this beautiful, really light rim light around the body because it's kind of backlit. Um, so this will be the lightest part of the whole painting. The whole shirt and like his body, that will be super dark as well. I just didn't fill that in, in the drawing. But we're getting weird. I'm so excited. We're gonna begin the painting. And so the palette I'll be using today for Gandalf is titanium white, yellow ochre, alizarin crimson, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, and burnt umber. For my mediums, I have just liquid original. I got my mineral spirits to clean some brushes, a palette knife, a few paint brushes. We're locked and loaded. I wanted to just show you my setup real quick. I thought it was really funny. I always think of gamers and they're like three monitors. Instead, I have three Gandalfs on these panels. It's just so, such a funny shot. I got the uh, just original sketch, the value study, which is nice to have. I got, I just copied that sketch onto this hardboard, this wood panel I'll be painting on, and I got the iPad with the photo reference, with the color, we're all set. I just thought that was a hilarious scene. We're set up with the palette, we'll be standing, and we're gonna begin. What's up? So we're beginning this great, fun practice painting. Um, and you can see on the photo reference to the left on the iPad, it looks, it's just very glary, you can't really see, but there is a lot of blue in this, um, in this kind of portrait in this scene and you know it, it is a dra it's a drab shot you know he's backlit so the color isn't super vibrant you know the most color is in his face on his cheeks the reddish pinkish hue but in general it's going to be a drab scene um just because there wasn't a lot of color and that kind of matches the getup of his whole wizard outfit the gandalf the gray obviously but i did want to bring in as much color as i could so I put in as much blue as I could into the hat. And you can kind of tell here, it still looks great. It matches the drab getup, like I just said, but um, I do put as much blue 
as I can, I thought I'd say that. But yeah, this this painting went great. I had such a fun time. You know, it was still just practice, having fun, um, nothing too serious. It's one painting session. I think the total was about three and a half, four hours. And specifically with this portrait, unlike other ones, I really took my time. Really, it was like abnormally slow going and not worried about nothing. I was super relaxed. Um, started with the hat and I, I like working in obviously these kind of zones, the whole um, like robe and stuff that was hardly a zone, you know, it's just basically a dark value with a couple streaks for the ruffles but um yeah so once finishing the hat i was super excited because i think it turned out great and you know like i said in the drawing it was all about values i wasn't concerned about the structure or really the colors all about nailing those values and making sure that you know it looked like he was being lit from the back you could kind of see the rim light on his hat there that white spot but you know that that hat under his hat to the right of his face it's just super dark and you can see and then close to his face in the shadow it's pretty dark as well so those are kind of the most important parts i wanted to nail um and it looked good it looked super dark from here without putting the face in but you kind of just gotta know that that's the value and it's super dark and moving forward that's what it's going to be here i was going to put in that green just like you see in the reference but then i was like eh, i don't really like it i want to keep it super uncolorful um and just kind of you know have the attention the focal point be his face and so i just painted that white and gray like the rest and i was really happy i think that was the best decision i made because i love the background and you know it looks so simple and it's not a really big idea just a little gray um, and lighter parts in other places but in person i think the background is super i don't know super mellow and super great and sometimes i don't do a great job on the background it's not a huge deal but it do, it sometimes affects the whole painting so I, I really like that little vignette the opposite of vignette of a vignette you know it's like whiter around the edges kind of grayer towards him but another kind of important part the beard is i knew it was gonna be the hardest part because it's hair and hair is hard hair is like flowy it's one solid kind of thing but then it's also individual little strands but before thinking about any of that, I just wanted to block in the mass and also nail the color. So it's, it is a cool color. It's not cool like the hat blue, but it's kind of like this greenish, dark brownish gray. It has all of those things kind of within it. So that's what I was kind of focusing on. And I think I did a decent job and you can see the kind of right side right there it's really you know it's light so there's light coming from the back another light source so that's kind of confusing because it doesn't match up but you know you just got to stick to those values and it obviously isn't super developed i just wanted to block in that stage and move on to the face right now and yeah i don't know you know i was talking about how this um, portrait is unique because it's lit from the back so there's no direct light source on his face there's obviously slightly lighter parts than darker parts but it's it's really not in the light so it's kind of all in shadow and there's no true real highlights there's no true super high values it's all kind of you know a, a, a really mellow value throughout the face obviously the right side you know the dark part of the hat is quite in shadow especially his forehead right there you can see it's basically black just like um the shadow on the hat but for some reason i actually I did really well, I thought, with nailing these values and not having a super direct highlight point, which is a lot of the time what I like to paint because it, it helps you delineate the shadows from the lights and then you can map those shadows and it, it helps you find the form of the face. And I thought this was going to be more challenging or that the effect at the end wouldn't come across as super natural and I wouldn't be able to really um, represent the form. but. In the end, it actually ended up being super um, easy going and I felt confident and I kind of like not having a super contrasty, um, you know, lighted portrait, if you get what I mean. So I was happy with that. Again, I just I, I think just the reference photo was great. And from the beginning, it kind of, you know, I had the plan and I was just slowly going through. It was funny. I, I watched like not six, uh, maybe three episodes of Bad Friends, which is a hilarious comedy podcast with 
Andrew Santino and Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee is like one of my favorite comedians and he's got the Tiger Belly podcast and he just started this podcast with Andrew Santino and I was dying laughing and I was just so in the zone going back between three podcasts, having a blast, taking my time with this gorgeous Gandalf. So that's what I was listening to some people ask and I can't get enough of those podcasts. They're so funny. But um, yeah, so we're kind of at the end stage of all the zones. You could think of it as the zone of the hat, the beard and the face, um, the background and kind of robe is one thing. But so now I'm kind of just trying to model and re reapply paint to those different zones and kind of go in to finish it off. And so I added some of that browner value to the beard and I'm putting the eyes and so it's just kind of the second final layer. This is one sitting, so it's all wet on wet, a la prima. And um, it, it's not gonna be mega detailed. Again, this is just like a quick little three, four hour study, but I do wanna get in the things. The face looks a little mushy right now. Putting it in the eyes really helped it. But um, uh, yeah, I just, I'm just kind of floating around. I, I spent a long time, like I said, I was painting so slowly, really mixing those values correctly and just, taking my time so I wasn't like making many mistakes and having to repaint things and painting too fast and trying to get things done quickly is I think one of my issues and so this is just I think a good example of me finding success but taking longer but then not having to redo things you know it's like that saying if you're gonna do something do it right the first time sort of thing and I'm adding that super white value to the rim light. I love the rim light. It's so cool. And on the right side of the hat, the left side of the hat, just to show that there really is this light source coming from behind. Um, and I just think it's so cool and it worked out. And obviously it's just thanks to the reference, but I haven't really painted something like this in this light design. So that was kind of a first for me. And I just had a blast. There's the palette, super simple. Um, pretty organized compared to other other palettes that I use and yeah I think it came out great super successful such a blast I love Gandalf I love fantasy hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions I list I read all the comments so go you know write something and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video